Hello everyone, today I'm going to explain why all NFTs are a scam. So the first reason is NFTs, they can exist in multiple blockchain, meaning that you can have a broad ape yard club in the Ethereum blockchain that works a lot of money, but you could also have another board a yacht club in the Solana blockchain or uh, Binance smart chain contract blockchain and then they are independent of each other so uh, identical uh, board aim that exist in the Ethereum blockchain even though it's worth a million dollars they can like be worth zero dollars for a same board ape in the Solana blockchain or the BNB blockchain. So although they are independent, there are a huge price differences between different blockchains. So that's why it's all scam. Although they are identical and independent. The price are different. So, what's the reason behind it? The reason behind it is not one values the board aim in the Ethereum blockchain more, but because the price maker behind the board aim, they push all their money into the Ethereum blockchain and trying to ignore the those identical board apps in other blockchains. So the whole idea of NFTs are gone because it's no longer physical although the picture looks the same. Why would the price be so different? It's not about the NFTs. It's about the price maker behind the NFTs. So that's for the number one reason why NFTs are scam. The second reason why NFTs are scam is that the supply is basically unlimited for NFTs, NFT universe, NFTverse, metaverse, if you will. For anything that has an unlimited supply, there shouldn't be a price tag associated with it. So, Bitcoin, it has a fixed supply. That's why it's worth like $40,000 right now. Other blockchain, other tokens, there are limited supplies. But for NFTs, right? Although it sounds like it looks like it has limited supply of for it or uh whatever but you can basically copy the same or very similar nfts with another supply and then copy it with another number of supply so on and on and on uh, there are unlimited supplies to all these NFTs. So let's say there is Bored Ape Yacht Club, right? There's a Bored Ape, but there is the Immutant Bored Ape. There is the uh, uh, Basketball Bored Ape. There is the KFC Bored Ape, McDonald Bored Ape. Basically, there are unlimited uh, variants of Bored Apes in the universe. There is, unlike human being, Unlike the population of human beings, they are limited to 80 billion. The board apes, they can be infinite because one can issue another board into the blockchain and pump it into the, the blockchain universe and dilute the whole things. Dilute the whole board apes. Dilute it all. So, I would say that there can be like I would copy and paste for a yeah, club for like I can do that for maybe 
10 million pictures per day and then a year goes on that will be like 36 millions right and other people they can do the same so basically there can be trillions multi trillions quadrillions for it in theory and one can do that absolutely do that and it will push the price to zero basically so that is the number two reason. Number three reason is why bought why NFTs are scam is that the whole idea of NFT is to be is just um, supposed to be the non fungible um, a token, non fungible, right? But as I said, in previously it's actually fungible, but we're still, we're still, it's not non-fungible at all in different, in, in many different uh, senses. So one can uh, copy and paste the picture and then issue a whole chain of NFTs, whole series of NFTs, but one can also just uh, print it out and out of the computer and then uh, draw, uh, uh, hang it on, on the wall, right? Do I have to pay any money to print that out? Absolutely not. If I do that improperly, I get arrested? Absolutely not. So, because the world doesn't punish you for uh, stealing the NFTs or for copying the NFTs or for uh, printing the NFTs out and then you just look at it you won't get arrested because the whole blockchain thing is not recognized by by the people by the human beings in in the world uh, and there is no law and order to enforce the non-fungible thing people can always uh, copy it and steal it right and it won't it won't have any laws and orders on NFTs in the future. Let me explain why. If people say that uh, I need to, uh, this guy need to go to jail for printing out the Borib yeah, Club, the Borib uh, number one out and then uh, paste it uh, on his wall, then that would have unlimited consequences of issue of uh, establishing such law. So let's say if I print out the NFTs out and then just uh, put a note of my name on it, let's say, or put a cross on it, it's not the same as the NFTs. Uh, uh, Borek number one anymore. So one can argue that as long as I print out or even uh, touch a little bit or uh, be a tangible thing or uh, put a pencil on it and draw something on it, I can uh, look at it and I can uh, have a very fun time looking at it for forever and will not get punished. The same goes to uh, Mona Lisa, right? Mona Lisa um, is actually the non-fungible thing because one cannot steal the Mona Lisa uh, portrait from the uh, France Museum and, uh, and bring it home. One can take a picture and print it out, however. And there are multiple Mona Lisa out there on the internet and one can print it out. But because Mona Lisa portrait is a tangible thing and it exists only on the mu in the inside the museum, that's why it's worth so much. But since the NFTs they already exist on the internet already, one can always print it out as if um, as if it's the same thing on the internet. Or even worth more because it's uh, tangible now. Uh, one can put it on a USB drive and 
and then uh, put it on your uh, desktop wallpaper. Uh, it's still electronic. It's non tangible, but it's the same. So anything inside that electronic uh, blockchain, one can always steal it and always be uh, fungible. It won't be not fungible. It can be non fungible, and people would not make it non fungible in the future. Okay, uh, that's it.